Okay, I am going to show you how to make a blow up box out of paper. What's your name? You, you. It's a box that you blow up. What do you think? I said, what's your name? Oh, I'm Tyler. I thought you said, what you mean? God. <laughs> I'm about to be fired, Cameron. <laughs> you need notebook paper. You don't need all this paper. I just grabbed all this paper because, yeah. And you need a pen, any kind of writing utensil except a crown. Mm -hmm. And then you need tape. It, it doesn't have to be scotch tape, just any kind of tape. It looks better with scotch tape, though. So. Even duct tape? Even duct tape. Oh. It's, har it's hard with duct tape, but. Okay. If you've got discernment, you can. Okay. You you take a piece of paper with your pin. Well, if it's, if it's wide rule, you count down four spaces, but this is colored rule. So you count down about six. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. Make a mark. Okay. Wait. Okay. Technical difficulties? Yes. And then with that mark, you are going to fold on that line that you made the mark on. It doesn't have to be exactly straight, it just needs to be a fold. But it can't be like that or something. It's pretty much straight. And once you do that, you go back over it, do the same exact thing. And as most of you already know, you're going to rip it on the crease. Or you can do this with scissors, it's a lot easier. <laughs> okay, and you fold, you you fold this over to make a to make a triangle. It doesn't have to be even. It's better if it's even, but it doesn't have to. Well, on this part, it doesn't have to. You unfold it, take the end that you didn't fold on, fold it over to make another triangle. From here, you're going to put your finger right there. E either ones, you see how there's the four triangles? Well, you're going to put your finger right there and, and push two of the triangles together to go like that. Then you're going to grab the two edges like that. Then you're going to push them together to make another triangle. Sweet. And you push the crease right there so it stays. And with this, one of the flaps, don't grab both of them. The first time I did this, I grabbed that, and it totally screws it up. Grab it and fold it up to the top. And usually you would cut this extra flap off, but you don't have to. For time purposes or not. Yes, for time purposes. And another one. Doesn't have to be exactly even. Flip it over, do the same thing. And you take, remember, just one one of the flaps. You take it and you fold it to that middle crease. Same thing. No, I'm not. They don't have to be exactly even with each other. Flip it over. Same thing. What a surprise. You have to give up my chest. Then, well, one of the sides, they are going to be loose like this. And if you haven't cut off yet, just rip a little bit down to about there. Do the same thing on this. So you're going to take one side, fold it into the same side, go as deep down as you can go. Then fold it, make the crease, and on this side, same thing.
make sure you just don't go a little bit or it'll come out. Won't go in. You, since I didn't fold that enough, it goes like that, instead of going like that, so, I messed up. Okay, to heck with it. It doesn't have to go in, but it's, it looks a whole lot better if it goes in. Just for time purposes, once again. It's a quick YouTube version. Yes. It needs to be more technical. It does well, if, if you're using tape, you don't have to push them in real far. Then you, you go to the side that you didn't fold them in on. That will stay in. Wait, hold on. Before you do that, take your tape. Piece about an inch and a half long. Fold that. Make sure you don't fold that and that together. If it's a little long, just fold it under like that. Another one. And one the side you didn't uh do that on you take like a popcorn bag, you just pull it very gently. Or you can just take scissors and snip off right there, just for time's sake. I'll rip it off. And there you have a blow-up box. Awesome.